Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. I want to tell you about Anchor. I've been with Anchor since I started podcasting, and it's a great, great platform. Why is it so great? Because it's so easy and it's free. There's a lot of creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast. You could do it right from your phone or your computer. Not only that, now you can add any song from Spotify directly to your episodes. The possibilities are just endless, you guys. Whatever you want to do, you want to have your own radio show, you want to do music analysis, you could do whatever creative thing you want to do with Anchor. Also, Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. So it's going to be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more. You can also make money from your podcasts with no minimal listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Support for the Game Exposed podcast is brought to you by Manscaped. Who is the best in below-the-waist grooming and hygiene? Ladies, listen up. Manscaped offers precision engineering tools for you and your man's jewels. For any woman out there, who has come across a hairy bush, you're now in luck. Manscaped, the best in men's below-the-waist grooming, has launched their fourth-generation trimmer, the Lawn Mower 4.0. Yes, the 4.0. Make sure your man joins the 4 million men worldwide who already trust Manscaped. With this exclusive offer, you get 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code THEGAME at manscaped.com okay let me tell you guys why i like the manscaped products they had sent me some sample products to try out the lawnmower 4.0 and the weed whacker and i gotta tell you i was really surprised you guys at just how sleek this was all right I mean, it's first of all, it's lightweight. I like something lightweight. I don't like a big, heavy razor, you know, or or anything like that. It's very slim and to, to put your arm around. And when you use it, you know, below, it has a, a light on here that makes it so easy, so easy to see what you're doing. It's not like uh, you can't see what you're shaving down below. This this would make a great gift. For, for the holidays, for your man, for a friend, for a relative. And the other thing, too, that I wanted to bring up about this product, you guys, is that it's waterproof, okay? And it also helps reduce nicks. It reduces ingrown hairs and reduces the risk of grooming accidents. It's a great item. So go to manscaped.com and get 20% off by using code the game. Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. Today, I want to talk about what a lot of people, how they're feeling, okay? A lot of people are, are bitter. They're sad. They feel alone. Some people are depressed. And this podcast is basically about when you feel like life has done you dirty, okay? Basically, what that means is you feel like you've done everything that you could do, that all you really want is to be in a relationship and have somebody care about you. But why is it so hard? Why are you sitting there and you feel like either you're in a relationship and you're not getting the love that you should be getting or you're having a hard time finding a relationship. You're finding people that just don't want to, you know, be committed. They don't want to make you, you know, the one that you feel constantly like you're not good enough. That constant feeling like you're not good enough, okay? Well, I'm going to talk about this. First of all, you guys, a lot of what what it has to do with is supply and demand, okay? Today, there's so much supply of sex. When there's always a large supply of sex, 
there's little incentive for people to want to be in the relationship because the relationship requires work, all right? We all know that. We all know that, you, you know, it's not easy to be in a relationship, but it does have its benefits if you're in the right relationship with the right person. But why Why does everybody feel like, you know what, I I deserve more. Why can't I get what I want? You know, why do I feel like life has done me dirty? Okay. Or they sit there and they put the blame on other people that have done them dirty. Now, in some cases, yes, sure. Some of you have been done dirty. Some of you have been very, you know, transparent with these people you were in relationships with. You've tried, you know, everything to try to work it out with them or be there for them. And they did you dirty. Okay. But here's the thing, you guys, here's the thing. Sometimes we have to take responsibility for why we end up where we end up. And the thing is, the thing is, as you grow and as you mature and as you understand life, what you're going to understand is, you know, when you're younger or when you're not really woke to things, you don't really see things for what they are. And what I mean by that is you sometimes pick the wrong people you ignore the red flags. There were things there that, you know, was God's way of telling you this person is no good. Okay. But you tr- you thought you could change them. That was your biggest mistake, trying to change somebody's character. All right. Everybody sits there and says, well, you know, you got to give somebody a chance. You know, nobody's perfect. Yeah, we understand nobody's perfect, but somebody's basic character is somebody's basic character. That's why when you take somebody who's a cheater that has cheated on every single one of their exes, that is their basic character. That is what they want to do because they do it for a lot of different reasons, okay? They might want outside validation. They may like the thrill of cheating. They may just be flat out selfish, all right? But the the point I'm trying to make in all this is a lot of times you are where you are because you either didn't know the signs, the red flags, you ignored the red flags, you tried to change somebody, okay? You wasted your time with the wrong people. You wasted years of your life in relationships with people when you should have got out. You should have gotten out, okay? This is why I always talk about the cutoff game, you guys, because you don't realize it. You don't realize it when you're in the relationship or early on in the relationship, but you'll realize it later on. That I'll that I promise you. That I promise you. When you're broken up with that person years down the line or later on in your life, you're going to look back and you're you're going to have regrets. And you're going to say, "Damn, I wish I would have left a lot sooner. I wish I didn't let it get to that point. That point of disrespect. That point of the person just wasting my time." And and now, you know, I'm at a different stage in my life and it's it's harder. It's harder as you get older, you guys. But it doesn't mean that it's impossible. It just means that your number of choices go down as far as potential partners that that would suit you and, and fit with you or that would, you know, be open to having a relationship with you. But I wanted to talk about this because I I see it a lot on social media. I see a lot of people there and, you know, they're, they're bitching and they're complaining about their ex. Uh, you know, they ghosted me or, you know, they treated me like this or they did that and everything like that. You know, a lot of people have been through something. They have been through something. But here's the thing, you guys, you know, it's a process. You, when you go through relationships, a lot of times 
you're going in blind in the beginning, all right? When you when you're somebody who's younger, who hasn't had a lot of experience, you you don't know what it is cuz you haven't lived it. You hear about it, you've been coached about it, but it's not the same as going through it. It's not the same as enduring the pain of a breakup because you really didn't see the person for who they were. You you had this imagination in your brain that they were something that they weren't. All right? And the the problem, the problem is They don't teach you these things when you're young, okay? And that's one of the reasons I did this podcast because I said, you know what? I want to make these people aware of certain things so that they don't sit there and waste their life away with the wrong people or they don't sit there and their mind is in confusion because they have somebody, for example, that's fighting with them and they've done nothing wrong, And they don't understand that they're dealing with somebody that could be a narcissist. They're dealing with somebody who's gaslighting them. They're dealing with somebody who's breadcrumbing them. They're dealing with somebody who's playing games with them and playing games with their life. Okay. You don't, you know, you don't, these, these decisions, you know, shape your life. These decisions decide whether you get married, whether you don't get married, Whether you get married to the wrong person, whether you get divorced, whether you're dealing with, you know, being a single parent, all of this shapes your life. So here's the thing, you guys, when you look back on things and you say to yourself, I don't understand why life did me dirty. It's not so much that life did you dirty. It's the fact that you didn't know. You weren't educated on things. You didn't know what to look for. You were misguided. You were told to look for somebody, you know, that maybe had a good job, had a good personality, was attractive, maybe had a good family, but you didn't really understand, you know, what's important in a relationship and the importance of how somebody treats you, okay? or the importance of somebody's character, what is their true character, and what that true character is going to tell you about how they are going to treat you, and whether how they treat you is going to determine whether you are going to be happy in your life. This is what I'm trying to tell you. This is why I'm trying to, you know, give away the game, so to speak, so that you understand why people do what they do, okay? Why people don't tell you that they're not that into you, but they keep you around. Why people ghost you and don't give you an explanation, okay? There's a reason that they do that, and it's more than just uh, them being rude or disrespectful. It's because a lot of times they want a benefit out of you, okay? And the benefit is not always sex. That's a huge benefit, but that's not always the benefit, you guys. So it's like this. It's like this, all right? When you're sitting there and you're feeling like life did you dirty, you've got to say to yourself, you know, it, 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 it's like, I, I brought this up one time in a podcast. It's like one of the old heads said to me, when I used to tell them about my dating life, like I used to meet one clown after another and they used to play games and everything like that. And I'd be like, you know what? I don't understand it. They were such a nice person. And all of a sudden, you know, they lost interest or they played games or they weren't consistent. And he used to turn to me and you know what he said to me? He said, you did it to yourself. And I looked at him, you know, like, what is that supposed to mean? And then I realized what he was trying to say. In other words, what he's trying to say is, I really didn't see these people for what they were, okay? Or I fantasized about them in my mind because of the words that these people told me, because they misguided me, because they gave me the impression that they were something that they weren't or they wanted something that they really didn't. It was all a game. It was all an act. And I... I didn't see it at the time because I didn't have the experience in the game to know it, okay? So this is why I tell you guys, the best way to overcome the obstacles 
And the best way to shape your life are the decisions you make. And the best way to make good decisions is to educate yourself. Oh my God, I can't say that enough. You know, I have a lot of people that, you know, may look at me a certain way. It could be members in my family. It could be certain people that I'm, you know, have acquaintances with. And they may look at me and they may say to me something like, oh, you know, you, you're very self-confident or, and this and that, you know, uh, or whatever they may say to me at this, at this point in my life. Okay. I wasn't always, I didn't always have self-confidence. Okay. Let's just get that straight. But I, I said to them, I said, yeah, you know why I have my self-confidence? I said, because I know what I'm talking about, because I had the experience and I learned from it. And what I didn't understand, I educated myself about. So yes, I have the confidence. For instance, when I'm going and I'm, let's say I'm going to a school meeting or I'm meeting with, you know, my attorney or I'm meeting with uh, a doctor, what do I do? I prepare before I meet with these people or I'm going to meet somebody you know, for instance, to meet them for some kind of relationship purposes, I do my due diligence and I find out who these people are, what they're about and everything else so that I know what I'm talking about, so that I know who I'm dealing with. So I get an idea of what I can expect from these people. You see what I'm saying? That's how you stay ahead of the game, all right? And that's how you build your self-confidence because people that are not confident are people that haven't really educated and opened up their minds to understanding things. When you understand things, you build up your confidence. It's like dealing with a bully, okay? When somebody's bullying you and you sit there and you, you're, you're falling into, you know, the fear of being bullied instead of understanding why is this person bullying me? They're bullying you. Sorry, you guys. <clears throat> Needed to take a drink of water. Anyway, they're bullying you because they are broken themselves, Okay? And it, and by putting you down, it, it, it lifts them up because you know what? They're the insecure ones. It's like when you're in a toxic relationship and they keep putting you down or telling you it's your fault or you're dealing with a narcissist or something along those lines. What it is, is they're the insecure person. I tell you guys this all the time. This is the biggest revelation you will have is when you wake up and you start to see you are not the problem they are okay you start to realize that the reason that they're doing these things to you is because they're the ones with the insecurities or they're jealous all right so this is why i tell you educate 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 yourself when it comes to people I mean, this this is like the key to life, really, because then you know how to maneuver in your life, not just in your relationships, in business, with your children, you know, with your friends. You know how to maneuver. You know how to operate. You know how to deal with people and get the best benefit or turnout that you can. You know, it's like I said, I said to my daughter. You're going to have friends and you're going to have friends. You're going to have certain friends that will be acquaintances. And then you're going to have certain friends that you could be close with. Like everybody has a purpose in your life. You understand this? Everybody has a certain purpose in your life. You can't fit one person, okay, and and make them the complete purpose of everything to you, all right? And it's the same thing like with a relationship, You can't expect that partner to be everything to you. They can't fulfill you completely, all right? I mean, there's you get a fulfillment by having a partner, but you also get other fulfillments in your life. That could be your hobbies, your goals, your health, your you know, your mental stimulation if you're somebody who likes to read and stuff like that. 
or or just being around other people in your life, your friends, being able to laugh with people, you're getting fulfilled in other ways, your children, how it fulfills you to care and nurture, uh, you know, a, a child that you've created. You see where I'm going with this? So the point is, okay, I just went off on a tangent this morning because I thought about this and I said to myself, you know what? So many people feel like life did them dirty, but here's the thing, you guys, you know, you did what you did at the time because maybe you were vulnerable, maybe you didn't know, or maybe you did it to yourself because you didn't take things seriously and you didn't take the red flags seriously. So the thing is, you know, be smart, be smart, don't rule, don't don't follow your emotions, follow your head because your emotions, your heart will get you into trouble because people that you think are going to be your happiness could be your destruction. All right. Believe me when I tell you, not all the feelings that you feel, okay, are what you think are love, okay. Sometimes it's lust. Sometimes it's just, you know, that feeling of passion. And passion is not necessarily love. Oh my God, is that true? Okay? Because you could feel this passion for somebody, you know, especially sexually, but it's not love, you guys, all the time. You could have passion and be in love with somebody because of the other sense of the word love, okay? Love is like a total dedication to somebody, the self-sacrifice to somebody, and their self-sacrifice to you, all right? That's very different than just passion alone or chemistry alone with somebody. I can have chemistry with somebody, but it doesn't necessarily mean I love them, okay? Or they love me. It just means that we we feel that chemistry, we feel that vibe, but for the duration it doesn't mean that we will be in love, okay? Because there's other aspects to them. There's other aspects to me and we may not connect on those levels and we may, you know, knock heads on certain things that we, we see or we value or we have morals about. We may not be connected that way. All right. And you need that connection to feel that true love that you're going to have with somebody. All right. So here's the thing, you guys. Number one, forgive yourself for your past. Let it go. I know that's easier said than done. Everybody hates that, right? Oh, I'm so tired of everybody saying, will you let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can't go back. You can't go back. You got to leave the past in the past, all right? You're on a journey in life. You know, your pain is your lesson. So you take what you've learned from your past and you look forward in your life and you say, okay, I can't change what I've been through, but what I can change is that I won't ever put myself in that position again. And when I see that pattern of somebody not treating me right or not showing me respect, then I won't deal with them. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. I see people on social media going on and on and on about they did this, they did that. It's Listen, if somebody doesn't have respect for you, they can't have love for you, all right? So the bottom line is you you don't deal with that person. You disengage. You disengage from something like that, all right? You disengage from toxic people. They aren't even worth your time. Believe me, they're not even worth your breath to sit there and argue with, okay? We don't argue with toxic or stupid. So you just move forward in your life. You learn from your lesson and you you continue on and you say to yourself, Well, I am where I am right now in my life. Let me work with what I got. 
Let me work with what I've got. And what do I have? I have experience, okay? I have, you know, certain things in my life. I have my children. I have my home. I have my friends. I have, you know, the things that I've accomplished in my life. I have the goals that I'm working towards. This is what you focus on. And this is what you build off of, okay? All right. I hope this helps you guys and you understand it for what it is. All right. And, you know, like I, I've said, you know, happiness is a choice. You have a choice to be happy. You could either make the best with what you have or sit there and bitch moan and complain about it. All right. Which is going to get you nowhere, but just put you in a dark pit. You've got to say, no, I'm not falling into that. I'm not letting the devil take over my mind. I'm, I'm, I'm moving forward. I'm having the faith and I'm going towards my goals and I'm going to do everything I can because when you do the right thing, good things start to happen. Remember, that is so true, you guys. That is so true. When you do the right thing or you try to help other people or, you know, you do something that you feel is morally right in life and everything, you'll notice, I, I've seen this, and th this is really true, S good things start to happen for you, okay? So this is what I'm trying to tell you. Just live your life, try to work with you, what you have, be thankful for what you, you, what you have, and look back on your past and say, you know what, it was a learning experience, I didn't know at the time, or I wasn't mature enough, I ignored the red flags, but you know what? Now I know, and now I'm going to make it better, okay? So I hope that helps you. If it did, please hit the subscribe button, share the podcast, and have a great day. Hi, you guys. I just want to make you aware that the Game Exposed podcast now has their merchandise available. You can check out the link in the podcast description. There's hoodies, there's sweatpants, there's t-shirts, there's cool hats. So go check it out. Link is in the podcast description. And follow Yaz on Instagram at dating underscore advice underscore Yaz. Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. If you have a dating or relationship question or you need an opinion on something, go to the link in the bio and ask a question and get a personalized video sent back to you. It's in the link tree slash the game exposed and you could ask a question and get a personalized video confidentially sent to you um, answering your question. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz, and I want to tell you about my two books on Amazon. The first book is Regain Your Power. It's all about power and relationship. Who has the power in the relationship? And it goes into all of that, okay? The other book is Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time, okay? Check it out. It gives you a lot of good clues as to whether you're with somebody who's a real one or somebody who's just going to waste your time. You could read them both with Kindle's free trial membership. So check it out. Link is in the podcast description. Thank you.